XYZ. So I got confirmed as a registered voter in New York and um, I got really excited. So I wrote on my blog, uh, on Tumblr, uh, that my voter registration went through for New York and four days later I noticed that all these notes have compiled on that one post and <laughs> when I looked closer I saw that the Barack Obama campaign Tumblr, which is just Barack Obama, had reblogged it. Obama coming into this campaign had millions of more followers than Romney. He started his social media initiative back in 2008. Barack Obama is using everything from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to um, Google Plus. He has a blog on the microblogging site Tumblr. The user base here is a lot younger than on some of the other sites. So he's having a little bit more fun with it. For example, at the top of his page, which was just posted about an hour ago, is a quote from Bruce Springsteen. His team is kind of scouring the internet to see what's popping up that mentions him and kind of reflects the voice of the campaign. If you look historically back to Roosevelt and Reagan, you sort of see that the, that the candidate who seems to understand technology uh, often has an advantage sort of going in because they use technology to show that they are up with the times, if you will, that they know how people talk, that they know how people communicate. Romney's definitely excelled on Twitter. When news is breaking, they're watching this the same way reporters are, and they're, they're injecting themselves into the conversation and sort of rallying the base that's on Twitter, and they understand that that's where reporters are talking and that's where the narrative or conversation is getting set. I think on, on Facebook, he's definitely see, he's maybe seen a lot more engagement per person, but he's notoriously bad at Tumblr. We've seen both in 2008 and in 2012 uh, the Obama campaign um, uh, having an edge over the Republican uh, candidate in terms of its use of digital technology to reach constituents and to reach voters. But the sort of makeup of Twitter and social media it's skews younger. We track basically every poll that's out there and we average them together. And if you look at the demography of the two political parties, obviously the if you're older in America, you tend to be a little bit more conservative and possibly a Republican. If you're younger, you tend to be a little bit more on the Democratic side. That necessarily sort of works out. The Obama campaign is likely to sort of get more retweets and more mentions on Twitter. Neither campaign is really taking full advantage of the social media element of social media, if you will. There's very little retweeting, for example, um, of a citizen's post or a citizen's comment. Like I said, you know, seeing it reblogged by the campaign Tumblr was so unexpected. You know, made me feel like what was going on with me actually didn't matter. <laughs>